My name's Bev, I'm from Rescue Recycle Reuse and we're based in Queensland, Australia. I'm an elite retailer for Dixie Bell, so we carry the full range. And um, I'm based on the Sunshine Coast. So if you're in Australia and you're visiting the Sunshine Coast, come and see me in your Monday, drop in, say hi, and um, tell me where you're from. I'm doing some blending on a box to fit in with one of the new cacti and succulent transfers from Dixie Bell. And I have got Savannah Mist. This is all in the Dixie Bell chalk range. Sea glass. So Savannah Mist is that sort of a gray green, soft gray green. Sea glass is a soft sort of green. Um, I have got soft pink. And then I have got some bright colours, Flamingo and Peony. Peony. And I thought I'd play around with those and do sort of like what I think might be like a little bit of a, I don't know, like a desert sky sort of thing up the top. So I've gone from having your sort of, your um, Savannah Mist coming up into the sea glass and pink and then I'm going to come back and blend those after, but I'm going to start with doing a little bit more of this pink going into some flamingo and peony. So I thought we'll put the first coats of those on the top here and then I'll come back and blend these ones. I have given it a good clean with white lightning and I did give it a scuff sand because it had sort of, I don't know, some grease or something on top. I don't know what it was. It seemed to come off with the white lightning and so I'm guessing it's all good now. Don't forget to give your paints a stir, especially when they're tight like that. Now this one, you can see it's, you know, it's still pretty good, but give it a good old stir. Sometimes I like to spray a little bit of water into them before I start if they're starting to dry out a bit, but this one's looking pretty good. Now let's get back to this one. So I'll start at the bottom here with the Savannah Mist and the Sea Glass. And I'm just gonna grab those brushes back out. I've got my Scarlet brush and I've got my Best Dang brush. And this one is so nice for, for blending. I don't know, I don't really need it today because it's such a small thing, like such a small area. But if you're doing a big area, oh, it's so nice to blend with. But we might give it a go. So first of all, I'm going to chuck on a bit of just a small bit of paint. Just basically so that we've got something to blend with. Let's jump up and see what we can do up here. So this is just the second coat now that I'm putting on the top here.
compared to when we started, you've got those colours blending up. You know, they've come really softly up here into your sort of pink hues, sort of like a sunsetty colour up okay. here. So, when you get the transfers, they come in. This one actually has quite a few. It has about five pages. So I'll show them to you. I'm not going to use them all today. But you can use them for different projects. So that'd be really good. That's a nice big piece. These look like little terrariums here. So they're like little terrariums in with cacti in them. I think those ones would be really good on pots. I don't know. I'm not... Jury's out on those ones. But the ones I'm going to be using today are these ones. Okay, so there's one, two, sorry, there's six pages in this one. Three, and this one's got two nice really big ones on it, four. So I'm going to start with these two. I'm going to sort of cut them out, just roughly around the edges. And what I'm going to do with all this stuff is sort of tape it in place a little bit so we can get a little bit of an idea of where it's going. So I'm going to layer some of the smaller ones. Now they're super easy guys. What I want to start, I'll do that one last because it's easy. What I want to start with is what's going to be underneath. So this one here is going to be underneath. So I'm going to put those aside and start with this one. Time. So I lift it a little bit and you'll see it's, I don't know if you can, but it sort of looks like it's lifting off the paint. As it does that, I just push it back down and rub, and then lift, down and rub. Sometimes I put my finger underneath, like this, and just go backwards and forwards slightly to help it release. But I always put the um, cover sheet back down, so as soon as it's lifted off, I put it back down and burnish it back on. Bang. Now I'm going to cut this down along really close because I want it to go right quite close to the end. So I don't want that big gap there. So I'm cutting it nice and close to the edge there.
little box so far, so that's the front. And I layered them up and then we had that lovely big piece. Now see how the different colours go? I really wanted to show you the different effects you can have by just using different backgrounds. So that's the greens against the blues and going up into the light pink. And here's your really bright, bright colours. And then on the side, that's where you can use all those little random single pieces. Just sort of layer them up a little bit. Let me bring you up nice and close so you can see how I did it. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Don't forget to leave a comment. Thanks and see you next time. Bye.